Oh, hello. Say, are you feeling it too? The heaviness, the lack of fucking oomph. Maybe you're angrier than usual, less patient, more depressed. Your head's all fucked up. Well, guess what? It's normal. Hello, it's wintertime. Our meat tractor with its wrinkly pink meat engine and hormone gasoline are actually delicately balanced organisms, which is surprising considering all the shit we put it through, but it doesn't take much to throw off our brain chemicals. In wintertime, there's less light and we tend to be light-centric. Back in the day, we worshiped the sun because the sun provided warmth and grew our crops, at fucking center. Also back in the day, wintertime was fraught with fear because we knew motherfuckers were gonna die due to cold, starvation, and illness. And here we are thinking we're immune to all that in our heated homes and heated cars and grocery stores and shit. But being fucked up in the winter is how it's been since time immemorial. So look, first things first, if you're fucked up, it's okay. Be fucked up. In other words, take some of the charge out of it. You're feeling some kind of shitty way, but modern society doesn't allow for the cyclical nature inherent to us as organisms who have evolved in accordance with natural cycles. You feel like shit, but you still got to go to work. You got to do the damn thing. Society maintains and expects summertime action throughout the wintertime. Don't let it tear you in two. The amount of light that goes into your eyeballs sends messages to your wrinkly pink meat computer that increases your sleep juice and decreases the juice that controls your appetite, sex drive, body temperature, sleep mood, and activity. In wintertime, there's less light and thus we get all wonky and fucked up. When it's dark, our brain produces melatonin, that's the sleep juice. And in the darker months, our serotonin levels absolutely decrease. Serotonin controls mood, digestion, healing, horniness. Basically during the winter, we've got more tired juice than the juice of well-being squirting. That is why you feel like crap and are tired all the damn time and don't want to do shit or give a shit. So what the fuck to do about it? Well. First off, I might suggest stop feeling like there's something terribly wrong with you. This happens to millions of motherfuckers. Everyone has a different experience of what their own brain chemicals feel like. How about look around and study nature a little bit? How does nature do? Trees shed leaves, some plants let their surface foliage die and they store their energy underground until there's more light. Some cold-blooded animals go into brumation, which is a state of inactivity. Some insects do this thing called dispause, in which they stop all body processes. Some of those fuckers actually let themselves freeze. Other animals migrate, and of course there's hibernation, of which we're all familiar and perhaps a little jealous of. Organisms in wintertime have adapted by slowing the fuck down. This is the time of retreat, of inactivity, of hibernation and survival. There is a direct conflict between the pace of modern life and how we have evolved. This experience of different ratios of brain juice is different for everyone. But we are all slaves to it to some degree. And some folks get more extreme ratios and some are more sensitive to slight changes. So how about stop feeling bad for just simply being in tune with nature? Although our outer life doesn't slow down or accommodate cycles, we can learn to adapt in our own ways. And so I'm gonna beat this dead horse. This is the time of hibernation. So if you don't feel like doing shit, or you've got no creativity or energy, or if you just can't seem to give a shit about anything, don't make it fucking worse by feeling bad about it or resisting it. It's nature, that's it. All we can do is our best based on how we feel. But remember this, if nothing else. This feeling is not the new you. This is not how you are now. It is a cycle, and cycles always spin. So remember, as shitty as you may feel, you will eventually experience its total opposite. So endure. As much as we'd like to hibernate, it's probably not going to happen. So there are ways of helping our brain juice ratios, and it's all very simple shit. Try to maintain a steady sleep cycle and get plenty of it. Eat nutrient-rich food, hydrate, get exercise. Vigorous exercise produces brain crack called endorphins. That shit will make you feel good. Bundle your ass up and go outside as much as you reasonably can and get as much light as possible. Wintertime is a contraction, so fucking contract. Huddle, get together with people and drink hot shit, talk shit. It's amazing how all these simple things can collectively help unfuck you. And simply chitty chatting can get you the fuck out of your head. Your meat tractor contains around 30 trillion cells, legions of which are at your command. Do one healthy thing, take a minute and drink some healthy hot tea or some shit. It's not that that one thing is a cure-all, but the intent is to broadcast throughout the legions of cells. The command is that we're doing healthy feel-good shit so all you little fuckers get to work. That's it. Just do your best. Remember, this is not the new you. This is not forever. Don't feel bad about feeling bad. Do healthy shit. Try not to do dumb shit. There's a sort of current that moves through reality, an ebb and a flood. Sometimes you can feel it, sometimes you can observe it. But if we're not paying attention, we might try to swim against the current. And swim as you might, 
You don't seem to go anywhere, and it's fucking exhausting. Feel or observe or imagine the changing current of nature. You're part of that current, and try to go with the flow as best you can. It's okay to feel blue. You've got this. Toodaloo.